Hey guys, Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, we like to learn all about things urology, questions that you might have about your bladder, your genitals, your kidneys, anything like that. I'm here to answer. I also do some great reaction videos to Grey's Anatomy and other popular shows. And today I'm going to be doing a reaction to Grey's Anatomy, season 11, episode 19, Crazy Love. So let's get to it. Please help us. Oh, 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 oh
saline, put it in a bag, and then you put that bag in another bag filled with ice. You don't want the skin to directly touch the ice, but the ice itself actually slows down any damage to the penile tissue. And then you want to get this taken care of ASAP. So within 24 hours, the maximum time that there's been shown to have any real success of reattaching this back together. Uh, I think the most successful ones that I've read about are about 16 hours. Marsh is a crazy woman. She's not crazy. She attacked you and injured you badly. I know, but I don't want to call the police. I don't want to press charges. What? I don't really have a lot to say about that. If somebody cuts off your appendage, your important, very important organ, I would press charges. Here, I got it. I got your package. I mean your patient. The penis. Your patient's penis. In the package. I mean not your penis. Can you give it to me? <laughs> How many innuendos in one video? You already irrigated the urethra in the vessels? Yeah, in the trauma room. Nice for it. That makes a big difference with this never meant like this. Sure, no problem. It wasn't hard. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big thing. I mean, it was easy. I was just in and out. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go now. Please. Oh, let's get PA. Okay, so that. So really hard not to laugh. They put every single sexual innuendo they could in that one second of a video clip very purposefully. But again, the important thing is that she did, she did exactly what she needed to do. She cleaned all the edges of the severed penis. She made sure that the edges were clean and healthy and irrigated them, which makes it easy to then plan to reattach it. I'm not really sure why she's delivering it to the plastic surgeon, Jackson Avery. I presume that he wanted to do some preparation to it before it goes to the operating room. Sounds like she already did that, but typically, again, you just wanna clean the area and make sure that the edges are clean and healthy so that when you reattach, you're attaching healthy tissue to healthy tissue. How is it? It's only the stop time for two minutes. Okay, good, and I wanna see this penis, but first I wanna see the man that it belongs to. That is a nice, clean cut. Hmm. Keep my knife sharp. Huh. Well, it will make reattachment much easier. Will it ever work again? Mr. Archibald, I don't want you to worry. I've reattached many phalluses. This situation is not as uncommon as you might think. Not true. Your vessels and nerves are intact, so chances are very good that when I'm finished, you'll be able to go right back to doing whatever it is you were doing before you got yourself into this mess. Jackson's prepped the phallus and it's in the OR waiting for you and I'll be assisting during surgery. His corpus cavernosum looks pristine. I'm impressed. You must have gotten it debrided very quickly. So I ran with a penis really fast. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm confused because she was debriding the piece that was taken off and April was debriding the or cleaning up the wound itself. So I'm not sure because she's looking at actually the part that's attached to the man. Anyways, despite that, she always makes an entrance right off a helicopter. I love that. They show this female urologist super powerful. Um, and also uh, she does talk about how he has good chance of recovering his erectile function is what they're alluding to. And I would say that that's not 100% for sure. We just don't know. There's not a lot of data on this, but we do know that you can do this macroscopically, meaning you can connect big vessels and the big erectile tissue bundles together, or you can do it microscopically under a microscope and also try to connect some nerves as well as the vessels, and that has a better chance of recovering erectile function and normal voiding. The point of doing a repair, there are two major points. One is to preserve penile length, and two is to maintain erectile function and allow men to void standing up and continue to have normal voiding function. So that is the end goal of this operation. Could you do me a favor? If Dr. Weber asks, maybe could you tell him that the patient requested you? So I sort of had to call. April, I'm not going to lie. You made the right call. He's just going to have to deal with it. Edward, join us at the field, please. What year are you? Third, Dr. Avery. Okay, have you ever done a phalloplasty before? No, not yet. No, well, it's high time you learned. First, you take a saphenous vein graft like this. Mm -hmm. And you attach it to the neophallus. This will provide the new penis with a profuse blood flow. Now, you. Okay, first anchor the stitch. Good. 
our round of suture. Good. You might be aware of this, there is a shortage of women in the urology field, but there's no shortage of female patients who might prefer a physician that has a more personal understanding of the anatomy. Okay, Edwards. That was above average. Oh, you do understand that that's just about the highest compliment I give ever. So um, one, yes, there are very few women in urology. There are about 10% of women urologists that are practicing. However, in training, there's about 26%. And I think that that will just continue to rise. So yes, uh, there is a shortage of women in urology and we'd love to have more women in urology. If you're watching and you're a medical student or you're thinking about going into urology, really consider it, it's a great field. As far as the technique she's using, she talks about a saphenous vein and a neophallus. That would be more of a phallic reconstruction, meaning you're trying to make a new penis. In this case, they were actually supposed to be trying to reattach his own penis, in which case you wouldn't need to take a vein graft or any sort of vascular graft, you would simply attach the vessels back together. Still slight edema, but that should resolve with time. The phallus is pink, not blue or gray. That indicates good blood flow, which means that things are progressing much better than expected, and you are a lucky man. Is it going to work? I'm optimistic that you'll get back most of your normal function. <sighs> Baby? Marsha. Wife. Ooh, the Quiet wife. Careful, slip out of this room. Call security right now. I've been so worried about you. Ma'am, I don't know how you located this room, but I'm going to need you to wait outside. No. I called her. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I never should have. It's my fault. We had an agreement. Waitresses and hostesses were okay. Nothing else. She's your sous chef. Oh, I know. I know. It's <laughs> not okay. I'm sorry. No, baby. I'm sorry. It's I don't get it. How is he kissing her? How is he kissing the woman? Sometimes it takes crazy to love crazy. I can't explain it. Is security on their way? Oh, yeah, be here in a minute. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that is some crazy love. I... <laughs> I can't even begin. I would hope that no one in their real mind would go back to someone who actually was crazy enough to cut off their penis. So I I, I hope this is all for drama and not based on a real story. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, Rory, hand it over. No. Don't be scared, all right? Give me the penis and everything will be fine. Stop. Don't come any closer. Just put it in my hand. I said stop. <laughs> I swear to God, you come any closer, I'll flush it. Okay. You are a woman of rare talent, a forward thinker, a warrior. You saw my masterpiece in the hands of a thief and you ran to its rescue. You charged into battle. Thank you. You're exactly the kind of surgeon that I need in Boston. Bold, fearless. And when you're looking at specialties, I hope that you will consider a urology fellowship with me. Wow. That, that's wow. You deserve it, Edwards. Without you, this man's specimen would have turned into a sad old bagpipe. <laughs> okay, so yes, that was amazing that she ran to the bathroom after her. Uh, she talked her off a ledge. It was super dramatic. The conversation between Edwards and Catherine Avery was, you know, somewhat inspiring. I think as an attending and now when I was a trainee, you do develop bonds with people who are, really go above and beyond and show passion and excitement for your field. So it does happen. It's not that common that you're going to get this like swan song of somebody being like, you pl please do my fellowship. That doesn't happen really that often. But it is kind of nice that they show that. Just to clarify, urology is actually its own residency. So Stephanie is a general surgery resident and general surgery residents don't typically go on to do a urology fellowship. If you wanna do urology, you start in a urology residency and then you go on to do you can, you don't have to, you can go on to do a urology fellowship if you so desire in something like reconstructive urology or female pelvic medicine like I did. Sarah Venus, 
I was standing there holding a severed penis in my hand, and all I could think was, this isn't why I became a surgeon. I do not love this penis. I do not want a career in urology. I mean, I don't Who know would it? what I do want, but I know I don't want that. Because that thing was gross. <laughs> Well, I, for one, think urology is a fantastic specialty. I will say thank God the, that penile amputation is not a common thing. I personally haven't had to reattach one myself because it's never come in when I've been on call as a resident, a fellow, or as an attending. And I hope never to because it's a horrible, tragic thing to happen to somebody. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and watch my other videos. I have a whole playlist of reacting to Grey's Anatomy, and I have another playlist of reacting to just episodes of different TV shows in general. So make sure you check them out. Uh, you, I promise you'll learn something, and I hope you'll have a great time. And always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.